So what it do, it's your favorite commentator here, it's Moses, aka 21st Century Moses, I'm bringing you guys a commentary, and first of all, I want to apologize for not showing you guys my America picture, so here it is right now, as you can see, but second of all, this gameplay is some MW3, everybody's switching back, I want to say like at least the majority of people are, and I'm trying to do some transitions and everything, so tell me if you guys like that, as you just saw. Somebody told me it'll increase the quality of my videos, so I was like, hey, I'm down for that. <laughs> um, this is kind of a little inside joke at my school because I don't want to explain. It's kind of something I shouldn't explain. The feel of the game, I think I lag a lot more, and you might see this in this video, but I don't think it's my connection or anything to do with that, but it's just, I don't know. Very frustrating, though, this game is, in the wise words of Yoda. But if you guys haven't heard by now, there was a fellow YouTuber by the name of Yot Slayer, if I pronounced that name right. And he died in a, I guess it would be car crash, train wreck type deal. He said he tried beating a train wreck around 2 o'clock a.m. I have the article up here right now. I'll post it in the description below. It was Vigo County, which is like maybe like an hour, hour and a half away from where I live. So that's really crazy. They said like... Drunk driving was positioned. His name was uh, Brian Rickard. I pronounced that right. He was 30. Now, I believe somebody else told me he had like two kids and a wife that he left behind. So that's just a very sad story. And okay. Why don't you tell me something? You know, if there's always something to learn from something else. And I think the moral of that story is not drink and drive. Just do not try it. Do not risk it. Do not do anything to do with it. Don't say, oh, I did it this one time, I'm fine the next time. Don't say you're a better driver whenever you drink. No, just no, okay? Definitely not. I'm just, I want to make that super duper clear. Super duper. What that actually got me thinking was I saw a video by Wacker, ah, Wicked Trapnel. Can't talk today for some reason, it's been a little bit crazy. I had like these Swedish people come to my school and I asked them if they knew Tay was. And they didn't, but get stuck, bitch. Um, as I was saying, Wicked Shrapnel, if you guys don't know him, he's a YouTuber, and what actually happened was him and Yote Slayer, if I'm pronouncing this right, I, I feel really disrespectful if I'm not, but he, he was actually crying in this video, and I'm not sure if he's actually known him in real life, ever met him, but he seemed like he knew him very well, and he probably knew this person just through YouTube, met him, started doing some videos together, maybe he talked on Skype with him for the first time, that's how he met each other. I don't know their connection, whatever it is, maybe he talked to him on Twitter or something like that. But the day and age that we are living in is crazy. Just think about, the, think about it for one second. You can go on Xbox Live, PS, and whatever, meet somebody online that you never even knew existed, and then they can become one of your best friends. Just let that sink in for one moment. Like, honestly, I've met all kinds of friends on, through Xbox. I've let them out of enemies, too, but... Just, like, the internet in general, we can find people, whether it be, like, YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, um... It's, like, all these different social medias, Reddit. We have all this different stuff at our disposal. And I don't know if we're using it correctly, but... It seems just crazy, you know what I mean? Just... I really don't know. And like you see like game battles or something like that. You might see the captain of the football team pairing up with the captain of the chess team, for example. Just the stereotypes, but that actually happens, you know what I mean? And maybe, like I don't know where pro circuits are, but if I knew like the, everybody's background, say somebody you relate to, but I'm sure some of them are popular, quote unquote, in their school and some of them are not. Remember, like, uh, I seen some pictures of uh, Nate shot. He didn't look like the most popular kid, but I guarantee you he probably was. Just because, like, people will probably ask him, Hey, you're doing that Xbox thing? Hell yeah, man. I might be totally wrong on that. Just saying, but... Just the times that we are living in is just crazy. And you might form a clan with somebody. Say you want to form a BRX clan. S rifle expert clan. I don't know what kind of clan you guys want to make. Maybe you want to make a... YOLO for life clan. <laughs> I really don't know. Elite clan. Whatever guy in the clan you guys want to make. You can make it. You can have new members. You can actually find people that are around like your age that have the same interest to you. And 
all these different things that we can find just through quote unquote social media. I say quote unquote because I'm not sure if you consider or consider Xbox as one or maybe not. That's why fucking MW3 pisses me off. That shit right there. But back to the game. Back to the commentary. It really does just put me in awe how like this happens. Like I'm kind of lost for words from right now in this commentary. And it just sounds really crazy. That's all I can think about right now. I don't have best friends that I've actually met in real life from Xbox, but hopefully I will. I plan on meeting them someday. You know, some people are really cool. They make me laugh. They make me cry. They make me happy. They make me whatever kind of emotion they want me to put me in. It's like a real friend. And Wings of Redemption even said his online friends are better than his real life friends because his real life friends want money. Whenever you're online, you're somebody's friend because of their personality. You don't judge them because they're looks or because their possessions or something like that because that doesn't matter online all that matters is who they are and that's the most important thing but i hope you guys have enjoyed this commentary my name is moses have a great day be happy today is a gift